So we're going to do Balloon Aries Prime Chimps with a tower spam that I haven't done before. And I think a good one for this map is Aircraft Carrier. Because on this map, there are two different lanes. And Aircraft Carriers have basically a global range. So they can reach the uh, right of the track for those Prime Rounds. Let me see if a 000 sub beats round 6. If so, I can get two subs. So that can solo round 7. Like this. Good. Also, this is a black border, so if I die in any round, I'm restarting all over again. Alright, I think this is a good run. Put it back on strong for the blues here. And that should defend. Good. I don't want to drop too many subs because, again, I am going for boat spam, but for the early game, I kind of need intel subs because they can see both sides. Maybe I want to get a sniper too, or maybe this can still defend. Hold off for now. No, it can't. It can't. Hmm, $3 short of a sniper. Alright, well, last try with larger range. If it doesn't work, then... So be it. Okay, I think this works. Don't. Don't. Good. And then I need $20 for a sniper. Just quickly decide, quickly. Unstrong. And that should be good for the early game, I hope. Okay, I'm, I'm banking that this guy, this sub placement with intel, can reach the left side. So I'll buy twin guns for round 13, because it's prime. Next prime round is 17, I believe, and then 19. So yeah, a lot of action on this right side. Alright, intel, uh, that barely reaches, okay. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I'll get another sniper, just to see, like, the very entrance. Okay, we lost. Good. That means I should probably get better sub placements. So I gotta aim it high. Higher than before. Alright, Intel, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's really good. So uh, I think we'll be fine for round 15 this time, because it can actually attack at the the start. So it's a shame that I'm doing uh, supposed to do aircraft carrier spam, but I'm probably not going to get boats till at least the mid-30s. Because as you, again, as you see right now, it's going to be tough to survive without getting Intel subs. So I think two Intels... Um, I'll just buy it now. I don't know if I want both to airburst, but I think I, I definitely want this guy to be an airburst. Alright, so airburst for round 21 here. Not sure what I want to go for next, because I need camo for 24. I think I can maybe get started on my camo boat. That's if I can afford it. I want a, whatchamacallit, a, a 002, but I don't know if the money's there. Let me just see. Otherwise, I'll just buy night vision goggles. I think I have- yeah, I have to buy Night Vision, let me just see. 430 at 600 bucks, so that's a waste of 300 dollars. But, is what it is. I'll turn this guy to a 110 later. I probably want to go for a Pat as soon as possible now, so that we can get his uh, damage bonus or leveling get started. And yes, the reason why I'm going Pat is because he buffs aircraft carriers very well. Because, you can't buff the planes from the flagship. I am getting flagship, by the way, in case you're wondering. But you can't buff it without buff or any of that. You, you need like a, a buff like Pat. So let me just put it where I think it'll affect the most amount of towers, like here. So 33 I'll buy camo now on my boat. Now I'm good for camo except for that right side. Also I don't know if this was a good idea because I kind of wanted to cross path with grapes for the aircraft carrier, but I guess it doesn't matter as long as I get more destroyers with grape shots down here. I think I'm just going to go for a 300 sub later, and just get a stronger sub on the right side. This guy should defend. 37 solo. Oh, I guess the intel. Yeah, right. Again, the, there's still a bit of camo here. So maybe I don't have to go for a 300 later on, but... I think I will just be safe, because I'm not confident with that tiny of a... Tiny of a, a radius. Maybe this should honestly just be an AP darts. To guarantee I survive a... Early-ish game. So, I'm gonna go for that. I'm just go for a 210 boat for round 40. Ability. Nope, this defends just fine. And now we get AP darts. So, watch 43 here. Oh, is it not fine? Let me just see. Please, please, please. Okay, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Can I get an aircraft here by 47? I don't think so. I think I'm probably going to have to upgrade this guy. Alright, I'll buy one more. Drill darts, 47. No way this is not enough. 
Camo. Holy crap, I just wasted money on a reactor. But that was uh, a panic. Anyways, this is a really scuffed defense. Let's try to go for uh, our first carrier. So there we go, our first aircraft carrier, let's go. And now we should be safe on both sides. Now let me get started on my village, because I need a MIB to beat DDTs. I know flagship can hit DDTs, but I'm obviously going to go for more than just a flagship. Why didn't I buy grape shot on this guy? Since when? Okay, this is actually really bad. I don't know when I bought this, but this is supposed to be top path. Now I just kind of wasted prime real estate on a boat. This is a really great strategy we got going on here. You got the random reactor in the top right corner. You got the 012 boat. Everything's just going marvelously this game. Question is, am I fine for 63? My... I would say no. So I'm gonna go for... Another boat. Also, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. It looked like I was close, though. I would say two of these can probably beat 63. See this round? Yep. Two aircraft carriers defend nicely. No padability. 71 here. I'm just gonna use padability. Maybe I should have died there just for the sake of, like, not finishing this awful run. I'm gonna try to save for flagship now. Ideally, this should defend. Take it slow. Okay, that actually almost killed us. I don't really want to use Pad Ability because I need it for 76. So please defend good. I'll just use it here. Yep, that's a lot of regrows. Don't want to take chances. Up. Oh. Camel wave or giant wave. There's flagship, and now we got the show on the road. I got two extra platforms as well for towers. Don't know what I want to use it for. We will see. I probably definitely want to get a Moab glue. Although it won't work for balloons on the right side. But luckily, I have the uh, rounds that are prime in front of me. And the only harder rounds, or the only rounds that are prime after this, 79. 83, 89, 97. Not very hard rounds. So I feel like just getting, yeah, like a mob glue here, not getting one on the right side, should still be fine. Alright, carrier number three. I'm just gonna buy grief shot on all of them because, again, they still shoot out the destroyer attacks. 80s here, looking really good. Let me go for my fourth one. I think four is as much as I can fit. Like, in range of both village and pat. If I want another boat, it would either be outside of the village or outside of Pat, sadly. So let me just buy a Mib early, in case I do forget. I do forget a lot of things. Although I'm probably not the only one that forgets a lot of things. A lot of people tend to forget to like and subscribe. Alright, let me just go for one more, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, hold on. I think I'm just gonna use Pat ability here, because it looks kind of scary. Let me just see. No, no, I can't use it for the mobs. I can't. Because BFBs come after, and I probably want to save it for that. Fortifies are super scary, in case you can't tell. Jeez, I should probably buy like an ice tower or something. I'll probably drop a panic ice if balloons do get far, so let me hover the ice in the corner. I am pooping my pants right now, so pad ability. Pad ability should defend it. Alright, so pants have avoided the poop. Let me just go for a mob glue now, so I don't forget later. There we go. Let's get working on uh, carrier number five, and I think that's it. Five carriers, and then just go for support after. Whether it be uh, Sabos, don't know if I want to get a Shattering. I think we're fine, to be honest, without Shattering. But again, we'll see where the money's at. I think I'm gonna go for, hmm, Alk buff, because again, the Destroyers are still doing damage. So, that would still increase your DPS. I think I perhaps want to go for uh, Sabos now. So 95. Pad ability is honestly all we need to keep those ETs in place. Very nice and easy. I am gonna go for a second Sabo for 97. Do you think we're actually sus on 97? It is two fortified ZMGs. I know there's no more blue. I know I have no spare cash also. Here's what I'm gonna do. Instantly use pad ability so I do more damage. I'll Sabo too, Sabo. Take it slow with one Sabo. And then, yeah, they all focus first, so... Ideally kill this first guy. And... Uh, drop... We died to a pink balloon. Um, 
Yeah, that happened. Why not a May Moab? Honestly, that's actually pretty good. This round also was kind of tough, so let me slow down. In case I need to use the ability. Um... I don't deserve to live there. Alright, 89. So, I'm gonna get more blue up here. Yeah. So this can see... It can hit the balloons before they hit the portal. So for 97, I can make the zoom G even slower. And I'll have a main mod too. Let's use pad ability also. I don't know how I'm I'm alive right now. I honestly deserve to lose for not paying attention. That's the second close call in this run alone. Okay, so shattering shells we can get mid 96. So we'll get for 97 as well. Make that round even more of a a joke. I got extra money. I think I'm gonna go for one sabo. Ideally, the money should be there. I probably won't be able to buy it till mid-98 though, so... It's basically all on the Shattering Shells to, well, beat this run. So let's take it slow. So, let's see, is it gonna pop? Good. We don't have to move the mortar. Their spawning is non-fortified, fortified, which make uh, the innards so easy to beat. Yeah, easy round. Easy peasy. Now, Sabo very soon. No pad ability till the very end. Because I don't think I need pad ability for 99. So I should just save it for the very end. There's not much else I could buy other than drop ice towers maybe. Yeah, I shouldn't be worried about dropping ice towers because all my... All my boats are under the range of uh, a mib. Just gonna sabo immediately as well. I definitely think we're doing fine because there's no fortifieds. It's looking really good. Only BFB is left. I would use the ability now, right? Just in case? Yeah, I would, I would. Now? Uh... Crowd Cannon? Ice Tower? Nope, we're fine, we're fine. $9,000 to spare. I don't even know if I'm gonna drop anything for that. Probably nothing, to be honest. Let me just watch and see what happens. How's that Pat and Stun doing? Easy. Very nice. Now for round 100. Mm, I got I got 12k. I should just buy like a an assassin or something. How about two of them? Just to put the cherry on top. Make sure we don't lose to 100. Because that would be embarrassing. Pad ability. Let's unload for a mass amount of damage. And yeah, that's going to be easy. And that's going to be Blue and Aries Prime Chimps. Tougher than I expected to be honest. It's also because I was doing a soft post challenge, but I mean, I feel like even then, it was still pretty rough. Rough going for an intermediate map. Definitely one of the tougher ones out there. But overall, uh, I think they did decently. Just had to get enough, you know, defense for the early game with subs. But then once we got aircraft carrier, uh, I think everything was fairly simple and smooth.